Before we start this video, I wanted to mention that we are going to be doing a giveaway and the giveaway is going to be related to some of the products that may or may not be mentioned in this video. So be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video to find out more details about the giveaway. Trust me, you guys are going to like this one. And with that, let's just go ahead and jump right into the bandless video. Bandless time. We all saw this one coming. And honestly, I don't think things are gonna change too much, but something had to be done. If you've been paying any attention to Springfest at all for the last few months, Luard and Shiranui have just been dominating standard, like overall. So of course, we're just kind of mimicking Japan's ban list of restricting Shiranui and Luard, but we're just gonna go over and talk about it anyways. So before jumping into any details, let's just go ahead and cover what was on the restriction list. Starting off right away, we got Shiranui and Loire choice restrictions with Shiranui Obero and Drag Veda being just restricted as well as Loire and Sergion. So the funniest thing about the Shiranui choice restriction is that you're literally choice restricted with the over trigger that comes in the product that Shiranui comes with. This is basically because Murkrow is kind of stupid where you can dominate your opponent's Vanguard, get Twin Drive, check Drag Veda, restand your opponent's Vanguard again to dominate it again and get two more drive checks to get a total of seven drive checks. In a deck that already does like seven attacks, seven drive checks is kind of like a little too much. So cutting that out. Lord and Selgon, that makes just the most sense because you can really abuse Sergion in a Lord deck because it's all about grade ones and you can put the Sergons back into the deck with Luard's ritual skill to then call them back out again. So Sargon is like really good in every Keter deck. It lets you look at the top two cards at the end of the battle that it boosted. Granted, you have more rear guards or you played an order and you get to add one hand, the other goes to the bottom and Sargon retires itself. In Luard, you can put it back in the deck, rinse, repeat. So obviously, that's a little too broken, and so many people are running this in the Lord decks, making the deck already way better than originally intended. So that also got cut. It's nice to see that the stride deck sets are getting hit in English. I would have been really shocked if they didn't. I'm not really shocked, but I'm glad that it happened. But there's more to the standard restriction list. We also got unrestrictions. I don't even pronounce this. Eli, Eli Vera and Val Shivlan. So Willista used to be a problem deck in the past back in the Gandiva era of Vanguard. But now that the deck's like hella fallen off the meta, basically, they're unrestricting these two cards together so that Willista can maybe still be a little bit playable, but I feel like everyone's kind of gravitated away from Willista anyways, especially when we have a new lyrical set coming up in the future. I feel like people aren't dying to play Willista again. I could be wrong, but it's nice to see that, you know, we can bring back cards and decks that aren't really that overpowered. So on top of that, we also got another unrestriction with Swirler and Gigi. This was mainly to hit Chrono Jet Dragon so that you could not run Swirler in Chrono Jet Dragon because people weren't gonna not run Gigi in their Chrono Jet deck. So this was kind of an obvious thing like to get people to stop running Swirler. That said, I don't feel like anyone who plays Jet is like dying to get Swirler back. I feel like there's been enough new support and also People just wanna play Blaine Meyer now if they're gonna play a Dark States deck. So I think this is still nice and I feel like Chrono Jet can still have a little more presence now, but the idea of having more stride deck sets in our meta, as we're gonna be getting Harry and Night Rose in the future, it's like, oh my God. So it just seems like every time a stride deck set gets support, it's just the best deck. But it's still nice to see Jet players, you get your Swirlers back, congratulations. Lastly, for the standard restriction list, we did get an update with Ride Decks for, you guessed it, Stride Deck sets, because they're so fair and balanced. So to keep Stride Deck sets fair and balanced, you can only run the grade two that comes in the Stride Deck set. This is the stop players from running Shoujo Doji in the Shiranui Ride Line, even though Bushy had promoted that. So if you play Jet, you have to play Smoke Gear. If you play Messiah, you have to play Awakening. If you play Shiranui, you have to run Genkai. And if you play Luard, you have to run Leofel. Three out of the four of these decks were already doing that. And then for Premium and V Premium, we got nothing. There's no changes. Obviously, V Premium and Premium are balanced formats. I do think for the most part that Premium is kind of in a state where it's like, no one's really too worried about it. No one's like, pressed about a certain deck being abusive. Everything's kind of, dare I say, balanced, even though it's like the same four decks winning every Spring Fest. But I think if I'm gonna segue just for a second, because we did tri-format for Spring Fest, there weren't a lot 
of premium decks and V premium decks to show representation for this circuit. Therefore, I feel like we still don't really have enough data to argue what the meta really is. Granted that if you lost your tri format in your premium matchup, your V premium or standard partner could still scoop you a win and keep carrying you through the tournament. So it's like, eh, it's anyone's guess. I don't, I still think it's a good representation. People brought decks they thought would win. So it's arguable to say that the decks that did win are the decks that were intended to win. A good defying idea of what the meta should be. But again, there's a lot of variables. There wasn't a full on premium turn or a full on V premium tournament. So no changes make sense. There isn't really anything to collectively suggest, you know, that we have a problem. My overall thoughts, it makes sense. We were expecting it, it was gonna happen. It's the same thing with like the Mertoa ban. I would have been shocked if this didn't happen. So it's good. I think it's fine. I don't think there's anything else to address. I think that standard is actually okay right now, especially now that we have this hit. It's just gonna be finally nice to see Shirinu and Luard having less representation. I still think they're gonna be really, really good contenders regardless. The decks did not get super nerfed the same way Gandiva did. These decks are still very heavily playable. I don't want anyone to think that Shirinu and Luard are now all of a sudden no longer a problem. The decks are still really good, so it still might be good to keep an eye on it in the meantime. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a quick little update. Talk about the ban list, because it's topical. And overall, these decks are gonna change once we get the festival booster anyways, so I will be showing my updated Luard and Shirinui decks in the future for some deck profiles so you guys can get an update on what these decks were gonna look like post ban list in case you're interested. All right, it's that time you guys were all waiting for. It's giveaway time. So I thought it would be really funny since the Shirinui Stride deck set is technically not legal anymore given Drag Beta is not allowed to be played with Shirinui. So I have a sealed Shirinui and Luard Stride deck set and we're gonna be giving away both. So there's gonna be two prizes and two winners. That being said, the giveaway starts now. It's actually live right now. Go to the description below right now, the link, it's going. The giveaway has been going and it's gonna end the day that the ban list takes effect. So that's gonna be August 9th. You guys have until end of day, the first day the ban list takes effect to sign up for the giveaway. So best of luck to everyone that's looking forward to potentially picking up one of these nice, fun nerfed product that are still really, really good. I think this is gonna be one of the biggest giveaways I've done so far. These things are extremely, extremely sought after. But with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the ban list so far, if there's anything else that you guys think should be addressed, and if you're excited to pick up one of these. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.